Hey everybody, my name is Mike Baker and in this short video presentation I want to cover a topic about lean manufacturing and more specifically let's just define what lean manufacturing really is and you can get more information on this if you visit the website www.leanmanufacturingsecrets.com there's a free e-course that you can get enrolled in and there's also another ebook with lean manufacturing tools and definitions, techniques, things like that that you can download. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Defining lean. Lean is defined as a systematic approach to identifying and eliminating waste. And the other definition for waste is going to be non-value added activities. So eliminating waste through continuous improvement by flowing the product at the pull of the customer in pursuit of perfection. Remember, everything happens because the customer's pulling, not because you're pushing. So the overall goal is just to get a system in place which will identify and eliminate the waste, allow you to continuously improve, and you're going to be flowing the product because the customer's placing orders or the customer's pulling. So lean equals eliminating waste, and there's eight deadly wastes, as I like to call them. These are all non-value added things which can be cause, uh, be some of the causes of downtime. So let's look at these eight real quick. Defects, overproduction, waiting, not utilizing employees, which I think is one of the biggest ones. It's not one of the most obvious. You know, waiting is an obvious one because you can stand there and see somebody just standing around waiting. They're waiting for parts. They're waiting for a person. They're waiting for equipment. They're waiting for the forklift driver. Whatever the case, waiting is the easiest to see. You should be able to see that right away. Not utilizing employees is one of the most detrimental to a company, in my opinion, because you have a free source of people that you can use right there, and you're not utilizing employees. You're not asking their opinions. You're not using their skill sets. Nothing. Transportation, inventory, motion, excess processing. And you can see on the chart here to the right, that typically 95% of a lead time is non-value added. That's a staggering statistic if you really think about it. That only 5% of a lead time is value where you're actually adding value to the product, which would be uh, assembling it, gluing it together, welding it, things like that. The other part's non-value. If you have to go and get the parts to bring them back to your work cell to weld them, all that is non-value added. You're not doing anything of value to the part. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So what's the definition of value added? I just touched on it briefly, so let's cover it more in depth right now. Value added is any activity that increases the market form or function of the product or services. These are things the customer is willing to pay for. They are willing to pay to weld two pieces of metal together. They are not willing to pay for you to have to walk 25 feet and get the two pieces and then walk another 25 feet back to your work cell, then walk 10 feet to get your torch, and so on and so forth. They're not willing to pay for that, so that's why you try to shorten those things. Non-value added, any activity that does not market form or function or is not necessary. These activities should be eliminated, simplified, reduced, or integrated. And these are the things that you should be looking for. The keys. So the keys of lean manufacturing is to, to determine what adds value. And having to do multiple inspection adds no value and the customer will not pay you more for each inspection. This is what I was just saying. It's a non-value added. You're not adding value when you inspect something. That's a, that's a hard thing to get across to some people, but you're not adding any value to it. You're not increasing the value because you inspect it once, and you're not incre increasing the value if you inspect it three or four times. You know, you can't keep marking up the price every time you inspect it. So the key is, do the job right the first time. You don't even have to have a quality department, for the most part, and just hold people accountable make sure the process is being done. You can also improve your process and just simplify stuff. Make things easier for the employees. Go no go gauges are a per perfect example. Not a whole lot of thought to that either. It goes or it doesn't go. And like I just said, don't forget the people. These are the biggest asset a company has. They are free. Well, smart. I mean, you pay them an hourly wage or a salary for the most part, but that's your only expense for them. 
So any other skill set that they have, use it. I, I think managers forget sometimes that people have other passions and other skills and other things they do outside of work that that work is just not their entire life so you should try to find out what their other skill sets may be and then use that to to better the company and most of these people will be willing to do that as well All right? their experience so you can use their experience from uh, previous years and things that they've come across and they actually do the process okay so they should be one of the first people that you're going to get some questions for about problems because they actually do the process P people you know guys in in white shirts and ties sit, sitting around some some meeting room table conference room table throwing out ideas about ways to improve the process and they've never even stepped foot or even tried to run the process you're you're just asking for trouble you will fail if you are that kind of a person hit the floor talk to the people and they actually do the process they're experienced and they're gonna let you know what they need to get the job done easier and if you want more information on lean manufacturing lean manufacturing techniques 5s Kaizen set, setting up Kanbans head on over to www.leanmanufacturingsecrets.com you can get enrolled in that free e-course right now um, it's a limited time offer. Get enrolled in that right now. There's also an ebook that you can download. And there's also four other additions to the ebook that'll give you all the tools that you need to succeed in lean manufacturing. So, once again, leanmanufacturingsecrets.com. And my name is Mike Baker. And I hope you found this information helpful. And I look forward to talking to you.